Hey guys, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com. And sometimes things just come to you, and this just came to us uh, from a customer of ours. This is a BH veteran who, he's now a BH veteran. He didn't know who BH Spring Solutions was before his barrel on his Browning uh, Mark II. Uh, actually, this may be, I'm thinking this is a Mark I, um, back in the 70s. And, um, this, if you ever had a wonder about what is a two-piece barrel, well, on the high power, this is a two-piece barrel. And they fit together pretty much like that. And um, hasn't been any kind of widespread experiences of what you see right here, but this happened while our friend was shooting. And what this is telling us, along with the other uh, pictures that we have of actually various different kinds of fractures of high power barrels now that we've seen um, this is telling us that you know these barrels are definitely not getting more stable as they age and as uh, time goes on and whatever technique it was that they used um, for this um, you know with this barrel cam lug being what it is this made making this barrel believe it or not much less expensive because you can have much less sophisticated tooling to make only this part by itself and then make the uh, the other part by itself so that they were put together like this and like I say no widespread you know instances of this happening but you know I wouldn't want to bet my life on it for sure because now we definitely know that it has happened it does happen and it can happen and possibly will happen so um, it, anyway it's a good thing to know this uh, friends high power is nothing like it was before it came in uh, with the traditional operating system now has the uh, SFS system now obviously has a BH barrel um, installed RDIH grips has new magazines going back with this uh, with this handgun and all BH spring solutions optimized springs and just completed the test firing of this accuracy is uh, amazing actually at uh, 12 yards oh this came in missing a rear sight and we'd never had encountered that before and um, we happened to have one of these in the shop that uh, wasn't wanted by a customer who had night sights put on his high power so we went ahead and uh, installed one of those at any rate fantastic fantastic handgun now I really enjoyed uh, test firing this one here this uh, this morning